Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Hoy les traigo una entrevista que le hice a los actores The Rock y Kevin Hart para su nueva película de Central Intelligence. Universal Pictures me invitó a entrevistarlos porque acaban de sacar su nueva película que se llama Central Intelligence. Así que fui a Nueva York, vi la película un día antes y el día siguiente ya les hice una entrevista. Y la razón por qué me invitaron es porque la película tiene que ver con el tema de bullying, de superación personal, de convertirte en una versión mejor de ti mismo y este canal pues tiene que ver con eso porque hablamos sobre la salud, sobre espiritualidad y cómo simplemente llevar un estilo de vida más saludable. Fue una experiencia increíble. De hecho estuve haciendo vlogs y pueden ir a ver esos vlogs en mi otro canal, Ravana Vlogs. Pero bueno, aquí les tengo la entrevista. Yo que tenía como muchísimas preguntas que les quería hacer, pero literal tuve como menos de cuatro minutos y después ya me estaban corriendo. Entonces pude hacerles muy pocas preguntas, pero los dos son súper buena gente, súper menos súper chistosos. Yo vi la película y la verdad está bien chistosa y al mismo tiempo tiene bonito mensaje, así que se la recomiendo mucho. Y al final también le hice una entrevista a Rosen Marshall, que es el director de la película. Así que espero y disfruten mucho esta entrevista. México. Hey. I am so excited to be see here. You, yes, you. to see both of you. Hey, just me. It's okay. Thank you. you can tell it's fine. Thank you. Just he me. knows about just me. He knows, so it's fine. It's he knows okay. about me, our relationship, my, especially my relationship with Mexico, right? Wow. I mean, that's, hey. Well, hey. what he calls a relationship, I call a lifetime <laughs> commitment. So, my lifetime commitment to Mexico is huge. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say congratulations, first of all, for the movie. I watched it last night, and it was hilarious. Did it make you poot? Yeah. Like, did you laugh? Like, almost, almost. That's good. That's how you know. Yeah, that's how you know when it's really funny. Like, <laughs> and then you got to sit up. That's good. Yeah, sit up. On my channel, we talk about the same uh, subjects that are in the movie, like becoming a better version of yourself, mm -hmm. inner and outer strength, mm -hmm. and just being yourself. Mm -hmm. So what initially attracted you to the script? of the movie. I mean, the first thing was Dwayne. Having the opportunity to work with him was the first attraction. That's what I, that's what I was like, okay, this is going to be great. Yep. And after reading the script, um, the fact that I got to be something different, not the comedy. I was the quote unquote straight guy, you know, mm -hmm. still with a flair of funny, but I was responsible for driving the story and the DJ was going to do the comedy. I thought that was just a unique approach to, to working together and I thought it was a great thing to give our fans, you know, a great switch up. So that's yeah. why I jumped at it. It, look, and, and really the same thing, the, the opportunity to work with Kevin, I was a big fan of his, you know, watching him from afar and in the shadows, watching him just explode in the world of comedy, mesh both worlds of being a comedic rock star and being a movie star, it's not an easy thing to do. Like Kevin was saying, we read the script, I thought the, the script was clever in some places, also had a good message about anti-bullying, also mm -hmm. had a good message about embracing who you are, even if you think you're not even if you think you should be more, there's a lot of blessings around you that you should uh, be grateful for. So there was all these really cool elements that thought, wow, it's, it's different than a lot of the action comedies, the buddy comedies, scripts that we were getting. And it felt like we had a good shot. You guys made a really good chemistry oh, together. You. Okay. And I follow you both on Instagram and you guys seem like you were having a lot of fun making oh, this movie. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh my God. you can't, you can't oh, make that up. The best. You cannot make that up. We, we genuinely had a good time, man. We shot in Boston. We were out there for two two months, I believe, or close to two months. It was yeah. like 45, 50 yeah. days. And, you know, going to work every day was a pleasure. You know, there were no days where you dreaded pulling up to work and the day that you were going to have. Yeah. You know, each that day, happens. each day was a good day. I have no complaints at all. Was there ever a time in your life when you were faced with some kind of bullying or you were in the presence of bullying and wh how was that for you? Dramatic for me. I, I was in middle school and I was bullied and then uh, there were a couple of big ep epi episodes. Where episodes, I was there you go. Get it out, big guy. Hi, it's all right. It's all right. Epi Let's ep take your time. Episodes? Take your time. We'll episodes, that's it. I'm nervous. Yeah, that's right okay. Now. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I had uh, one of the biggest lessons I learned out of that whole thing was standing up for myself because I didn't do it right away. It took a long time for me to do it and I finally did it and then I ran from the person I did it to. But there was a bigger lesson which was standing up for myself and then communicating actually properly after that because oftentimes it happens when people are getting bullied. There's a fear. There's a fear to speak up. There's a fear to tell people. 
You don't want to feel like, oh, I don't want to tell people I'm being bullied, and then maybe the bully is threatening the person not to tell anybody. So uh, for us, we had an opportunity to uh, deliver a good movie that was funny and also tell a good message. And, you know, I, one time I was bullied by a, uh, a Rottweiler. It's a dog. Uh, What'd you do? It, well, it's just this dog just would never let me pass the gate. Oh. You know, like there's a gate. There was a shortcut where I could go home from school. The dog would always just mess with me. What'd you Nobody do? else. Well, one day I had to stand up to that dog. Yeah. I gave him treats. That's smart. Yeah, yeah just gave him some treats and he became my friend. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm so excited to be here with you. I saw the movie last night and it's really funny. It's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. In my YouTube channel, we talk a lot about the similar subjects like in the movie about becoming a better version of yourself and believing in yourself and just being yourself. Mm -hmm. So what initially attracted you to the script? I really liked the balance of um, action and comedy in the script. I really liked the, um, the premise. Uh, but mostly I like the message, which is it had this great kind of anti-bullying message, which I thought was incredibly important. Like, you know, Central Intelligence, we've got Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson. It's a big action comedy. It's a lot of fun, summertime film. But, you know, it's got this, this heart and this message, this anti-bullying message, which is really important to me, but even, I think, more important to Kevin and Dwayne. And um, we just wanted to uh, shine a light on that, you know, that, that what you say to people... Um, when, when they're in junior high or high school or even a, a nasty comment on an Instagram post uh, can really have an effect. And we just wanted us to point that out and, and say, look, we just need to be nicer to each other, you know, and, and think about what your actions, because they can really do harm if you're not careful. Is there, was there any point in your life or where you were faced with bullying or that you could resonate mm -hmm. with the movie? Uh, I was never really bullied in high school and I never really bullied anybody else, but um, I... You know, I was never the most popular guy in high school. I, I had, I had, uh, I was friends with a lot of different people. I, you know, was in the theater and I wrote for the paper and I was on the football team. So I had a, a great kind of um, uh, experience in terms of getting to see different people's experience in high school. And I saw people get bullied and, mm. and uh, you know, I've certainly been the butt of a joke of, you know, and, and you know, didn't like it very much. But uh, no, not, not directly bullied. So The Rock and Kevin Hart obviously have great chemistry. It was just a blast watching them together. How was it um, casting uh, people and choosing them? Uh, well, I mean, look, whenever you have a buddy picture, right, uh -huh. so, so the most important thing to get right is the buddy aspect, right? Yeah. You want to make sure you get that combustible cast, that pairing that works, and, and um, that chemistry. Uh -huh. And chemistry isn't a function of um, of directing, and it's not really a function even of writing, even though the writing is important, right, because you want to set up the idea and the odd couple pairing and all that. It's really a function of casting, mm -hmm. uh, and you hope you get it right, and I think we really got it right in this one. And Kevin and Dwayne, as soon as they met, were like, uh, you know, they're the same guy. I mean, they, they come in very different packages, right? One's a foot taller than the other. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you which one, but one of them is taller. <laughs> and uh, but, but they're basically the same guy. They're incredibly smart, each of them. They're hardworking. They're in, uh, very gracious with the people in their life and, and mm -hmm. casting crew. They take the work seriously, but not themselves seriously, which I really appreciated. Mm -hmm. So they're cut from the same cloth, and I think that really lent to um, the chemistry. I mean, you can tell they both have such a great heart. They really do. Yeah. They both of them, I mean, legit. So I represent Mexico, okay. and I represent uh, the Latino uh, audience okay. in the United States. So obviously this movie is two big stars, uh, non-white yeah. stars. So this is big. Well, it's yeah. a huge deal. I mean, look, we have we have two non-white stars, right? Yeah. And, and Central Intelligence is not based on... Uh, on a board game or a video game. It's not a remake, it's not a reboot, it's not a prequel, it's not a sequel. It's an original idea with two non-white stars and it's for everybody. Exactly. Uh, it's a big deal, yeah, big deal. And I'm really proud of the movie. Well, congratulations. So much. Is, are there any words that you can give to my YouTube channel, to okay. my audience, of where there are times where you face some struggle or challenges, mm -hmm. uh, what you do to get through that? Uh, what keeps you going and what keeps you motivated? Oh, well, I mean, I think everybody faces uh, a challenge in, in, in their life, um, or many challenges. And I think uh, part of it is, um, I think it's about having good friends and good family around you, mm -hmm. someone you can talk to, someone who will support you. Uh, and I think also, you know, th that old sort of uh, Shakespearean saying, you know, to thine own self be true, that you know who you are mm -hmm. and don't let anybody else tell you anything different. And I think it really wow. comes down to, Dwayne had this great line. He actually made it up this line at the end of the movie when his character is giving the speech. Uh, and Bob says, I think, which is the perfect line, he says, the most important thing in life that you can be is yourself. 
And I just love that line. That was great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank yes. you. I'm glad you liked the movie. Yes, I did. All right. Thank you. Bueno, amigos, esa fue toda la entrevista. Como pueden ver, me estaban así de que corriendo. Y yo dije, por favor, por favor, Snapchat, foto, foto, foto. Sí, increíble, la verdad. Si ven la película, por favor, déjenme sus comentarios. ¿Qué les pareció? Si les gustó, si no les gustó. Todo, todo, todo. Ahora sí los dejo. No olviden suscribirse aquí a mi canal si no están suscrito Y también a mi otro canal, Ravana Vlogs. Los quiero mucho, amigos. Les mando un súper abrazo frutal. Y los veo en el siguiente video, ¿ok? Bye.